Okay, that's what we're going to work on today. The other side. Okay, we're going to start drilling out the rivets or the spot welds and see if we can't get that old cab mount out of there. I'm going to do this one a little different, not try to cut out as much of the floor. Okay, so I think I'm going to start drilling the cab mount off from the inside and then uh, see what we have left. I think it's a little easier to work on that. You can see that the rust goes and there's a patch. So I'm going to have to patch the floor, but I don't want to cut as much out as I did on the other side. Okay, so I've cut the patch, the old patch out, and I'm starting to drill the spot welds. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. Starting to drill out the spot welds. See if I can't get that loose. But I'm having to stop and sharpen my bits. Uh, rust really dulls your bit quickly. Okay, I've got most of the pop rivets drilled out. So now I'm coming around to the outside and I'm gonna cut it loose from the top of the cab there on that seam and start working it out. I'll probably start cutting it into pieces. And there's a big hole right there. Okay, so I'm starting to cut the mount in pieces to try to get it out of there. Okay, so I've cut it. Now I'll try to take this piece off. I got to do some more figuring. Okay, so you can see how bad the floor is. 
had that big chunk out now I'll work on getting the rest of that cab mount out okay I bent the inner fender out of the way and then I've cut it cut loose from the top and I'm starting to roll it out of there getting it open so I can get in there to it all right I got it broke loose all the way down now I'm just gonna break it loose on the bottom so I'm going to go drill some more holes, see if I can find the spot welds. Well, there it is. Okay, now I just got to do some cleaning up and fitting, and we'll see if we can get the other one to go back in. Okay, I've got the new cab mount up in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start tacking it along the top. There's a, some fitting got to go, I need to do along here. But I'll get this top part welded in. I'll get the top welded in and then sitting back down on the mount. And then we'll work with the, the fitting, bending it where we need it. So I'll get the welder out. Okay, there's the new cab mount in, tacked across the top, got the new rubber spacer in, let's come out here, look at that gap, that gap is nice, a little tight, a little tight right up here. But I think it always was, so I'll be able to take some of that out. But they were touching. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's looking good. Get the floor and the cab all sealed up, and then I can start on this roof. That's going to be the fun one. At least you won't be laying on your back underneath. But i got to pull this fender off and uh, get in and do some repair. There's some repair to the rocker and the A-pillar. That'll be another video. Alright, so now I'm gonna prep the inside for the floor pan piece. And here's the here's the floor pan. I'm just going to cut a piece out of that and uh, I think I'm going to do a lap weld so I'll go ahead and get the truck cleared up and I'll show you what it looks like after I get it prepped and then just before I weld in the, the panel okay so there's the piece I cut out I'm in here Okay, there's the hole and now I'll start cutting the pieces to go back in I have to cut this out right along there at least because that's where it's welded and then there's a big rust pocket right here I've got to get out so I'm gonna cut this out next Okay, so I'm starting to peel this back and you can see where I welded over the original there. So now I'm just trying to get that little sliver out and then we'll have to fix 
this piece it's a big bulge there's rust up here so I'll have to cut and piece of put a piece in but I want to leave as much of the as I can so that's still working on getting that piece out look at all the garbage packed in there if they'd have drilled a couple of holes none of this would have ever happened crazy huh okay so I'm working it back I'm leaving this piece of metal on this side I didn't do that on the other side and it was a really a pain so I'm trying to leave as much metal now this piece here you can see it's all rotted and there's a hole out here too so I'll get this cleaned up and then I'll fit this piece in but it's coming along okay it's all cut out this I think is going to go back together a little easier I still need to do some work I still need to do some work in here but look at this Anyway, a lot of years of dirt. I don't even know what that is. But we'll get that. Ouch. starting to get there little bit at a time 